Uh, hey, this is Tomic from FL Underground, and today we're going to be talking about automation clips. Automation clips move link controllers on the FL Studio interface or plugins. They're used for adding effects or controlling the audio of a certain channel. Uh, I'm going to be going over a few uh, uses of it today, and we're going to be starting off right now. Um, so first we're going to add, for example, an arpeggio, and we want to control the sound. So it will go from quietest to loudest. So let's add in a simple sound right now. Okay, so add it anywhere. Make it long enough to control and then add it to the first pattern. And so what we would want to do right now is um, go to its uh, audio, I mean volume knob and right click and click create an automation clip. Now go into the pattern uh, playlist again and uh, you'll see your automation clips right here. Uh, you can control them by just moving these points around. Uh, you can add points by right clicking on anywhere on the automation clip. So for example if I want, to, want it to go from quietest to loudest then quiet again I'll just move this around like this and if I play this for you As you can see, the sound gets quiet. Uh, starts off quiet, then gets louder, and then gets quiet again. Um, you can add in um, effects to it, and it's very simple. Just move, uh, move it to the whatever effects pattern you have on your mixer, and in the effects pattern on the mixer, add in, for example, delay, right? And I want the delay to go also from. Um, I shall want to go from loudest to quietest. So how would I do that? Um, you could you could either control any of these uh, or control one one of them one by one. Uh, you can do this by right clicking on them, create an automation clip, and just do the same exact way as I showed you. Or for example, if you want to control the whole exact uh, whole effect, I would right click on the volume of that effect and create an automation clip also. So if I go into my playlist, you'll see it's right here. And for example, like I said, I want it to go from loudest to quietest. So so I will just move the points around. And as you can see, it's going from loudest to quietest. And if I play it for you, it will sound something like this. So, I don't know if you notice. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Okay. Let's add in another effect because I didn't really hear that one. But um, for example, uh, sorry, I don't know which one to pick. Ah, uh, Vocodex, for example, right? And I want to control the volume of this one also, the whole thing. And I would create an automation clip. So go to my playlist and I'd go from loudest to quietest and play this. So as you can hear, there was an effect to it, and you could practically do anything you want with it, add in any effect, control any um, volume of any channel, any whatever. Um, just have fun with it, be creative, and I hope this tutorial helps someone. Uh, make sure to visit our website if you still haven't and register. It's www.fl-underground.com. Uh, you can add me on MSN. It's Tomic at flunderground.com. Uh, y if you didn't get that, then um, either check the description or it's on my website. It's in the news. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, just PM me or send me a message through MSN. And I would be glad to help you. And thanks for watching.